Forum Mathematics, Corpio Mathematics Paper 2, Thursday, 14 May 2020. Answer all questions and ensure that your answers to parts of questions are clearly labeled. You should show sufficient working to make your methods clear. Answers without working may not gain full credit. Question number four. Use the Moivre's theorem to prove that sine 7 theta is equal to 7 theta minus 56 sine cube theta plus 112 sine to the 5 theta minus 64 sine to the 7 theta. Hence, find the distinct roots of the equation 1 plus 7x minus 56x cubed plus 112x to the 5 minus 67x. 64x to the 7 equals to 0. Giving your answers to three decimal places where appropriate. So this is the method we're going to use to answer these questions. The first thing we need to do is to expand cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power 7. We need to expand that. After that, we need to identify imaginary terms with sine 7 theta. And we will replace cos squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta. And we will apply the expansion of 1 minus sine squared theta all squared and 1 minus sine squared theta all cube. So the Moivre's theorem for any integer n arrow bracket cos theta plus i sine theta to the power n is equal to arrow to the n bracket cos n theta plus i sine n theta. We're going to use that and we're going to use a binomial expansion below. First, we would use binomial expansion to expand cos theta plus i sine theta to the power 7. So our a in the binomial expansion, our a is cos theta and our b is i sine theta and the n is 7. So cos theta plus i sine, cos 7 theta plus i sine 7 theta. Now let's do the binomial expansion. So it becomes cos 7 theta plus 7c17 seven seven combination 1 cos 6 theta i sine theta. So if you notice, it's 1 plus 6 is 7. Each time the power adds up to 7. Plus 7c2 cos 5 theta i sine 2 theta. If you notice, 5 plus 2 will make 7. Plus 7c3 cos 4 theta plus i sine 3 theta. If you notice, 4 plus 3 would make 7 plus 7c4 cos cube theta plus i sine 4 theta. 3 plus 4 would make 7. And we carry on until we've got 7c7 cos 0 i sine 7 theta. 0 plus 7, it gives you 7. So the power is always, it always adds up to 7. Now, to make it easier and quicker to write it, we can use a shorthand. We can call cos theta to be C and I sine theta to be IS. That way we can write it faster. So cos theta to be C and I sine theta to IS. So wherever you see cos theta, you put C. And when you see I sine theta, you put IS. So that will be C there. You get, the, you get what I'm saying, you put C there. And they put is there. So what you will have would be C7. And this will be 7. Combination 1 is 7. Cos 6 theta, it will be C6. And then I sine theta will just be is. And 7C2 is minus 21. Cos 5 theta will be C5. And I sine theta squared will be s2 and the, the minus comes from when you square i so when you square i you will get a minus i squared gives you minus one and you will do the same for the third one and so on so you will get that so when you square i squared it gives you minus one and that is what gives you the minus to get it there. So you would uh, 
follow using i squared i to the power four is one and i to the power six is minus one so what you want to do is we want to get all the imaginary part all the ones with is so it's 7c 6is minus 35c 4is cube plus 21c squared is to the 5. so 17c 6 35c 4 21 and is 7 and this gives us all the imaginary part now we can get rid of the i by dividing all of it by i so if we divide all of it by i we divide i 7 theta by i divide this by i divide this by i divide this by i divide by i you will left with sine 7 theta is 7 c 6 s minus 35 c 4 s 3 plus 21 c2 s5 minus s7 now we want to <clears throat> we want to replace cos squared theta with 1 minus sine squared theta so we can call cos squared theta as c squared because cos theta is c so cos squared theta cos theta is c so cos squared theta is c squared minus is equals to one minus s squared so that's what we want to do so wherever we see c c6 can be written as c squared cube because two times three is six so that will be and c squared is one minus s squared so this is one minus s squared cube c4 is the same as c2 squared two times two is four and C2 is one minus S squared. So that will be one minus S squared all squared. And C2 here is just one minus S squared. Now we can expand one minus S squared cube. And you can multiply that one out one minus S squared times one minus S squared times one minus S squared. You can do that to get the answer so you would have so when we replace c with that and we replace c4 there and we replace c squared there we'll get seven bracket one minus s squared all cube times the s and then minus 35 one minus s squared all squared and then s cube and then we have 21 and then one minus s squared times s5 and then s7 now, when we expand one minus S squared cube, we will get this. And they expand the one in green, one minus S squared squared, you will get this one in green. After that, you remove the brackets. Seven times one is seven. And then you also times with the S at the end. So that gives you seven S. 7 times minus 3 is minus 21. And then the S squared times the S, it gives you S cube. 7 times 3 is 21. And S4 times S will give you S5. So you carry on. For this side, you have 21 times 1. It gives you 21. And times the S5. 21 times S squared, it gives you minus 21. S2 plus 5, it gives you 7. And then minus S7. That's the process there. Now, what you want to do, you want to collect like terms. And I've put on the line them. The ones I've put in black are the ones which are the same. You can collect them together. So minus 21 S cube minus 35 X cube minus 21 minus 35 s cube you can put that together so you have let's start by putting we've got 7s which represents 7 sine theta 
for S is for sine theta. So 7S is 7 sine theta. And then minus 21, minus 21 S cubed, minus 35 S cubed, the one I've underlined in black, that'll give you minus 56 S cubed, which is minus 56 sine cubed theta. And then we want the one in blue, 21 S5 plus 70 S5 plus 21 S5, that will give you 112 S5, which is 112 sine 5 theta. And the next one, which is the orange, minus 7, minus 35, and minus 1. We put them together and minus 21. Put those together. That gives us minus 64 S to power 7 theta. So that is your answer. So we would say quote irat demonstrantum, which means as required to show. Hence, find the distinct roots of the equation. To find the roots of the equation, we want to take that equation to make it to look like what we have just found from, from before, because it says hence. Hence means use the answer from before. So if we take this one to the right hand side, it becomes minus one. Now we can compare this equation with what we have got before. Compare this equation with what we had before. So the seven, same like the seven, the X is the sine theta, the minus stays the same, 56 stays the same, X cubed is sine cubed theta, plus stays the same, 112 stays the same, X5 is sine five theta, minus stays the same, 64 stays the same, and X7 is sine seven theta. So what we are saying is that this, is the same like this one, identical. So that means if this one is equals to minus one, sine seven theta will have to be the same like minus one. So that means sine theta will have to be, sine seven theta will have to be equals to minus one. So we know that X is equals to sine theta. Now we find inverse sine of minus one. So seven theta would be minus 450 or minus 90 or 270 or 630 and so on. Or you can put it in radians, five minus five pi over two, minus pi over two, three pi over two, seven pi over two. Now to get theta, we divide by seven. So minus 450 divided by seven, minus 90 divided by seven and so on. So you would get X is equal to sine theta. So what do you get is minus 0 0.901, minus 0 0.223 and minus and 0 0.623 and one. So those are the values you would get for X. And that gives you the solution to that equation. So since we know X is equal to sine of theta, we would use, so that means X would be sine of minus 450 over seven, which will be minus 0 0.901. And X would be sine of minus 90 over seven, minus 0 0.223. And X would be sine of 270 over seven, which will be 0 0.623 and 630 over seven which will give you one. So those are the answers which you got for X. If you plot a graph of Y equals to sine X, you would see that there's a point at X equals to minus 450 when Y equals to minus one. And that's what we would use for the view window, minus 540 up to 540 and 
y minimum minus 1.6, y maximum 1.6, and you plot sine x to see all those values. So one way to check your answer is to plot it on the graphics calculator. So you have one plus seven x plus 56 x cubed plus one one two x to the five minus 64 x to the seven. And it will give you this shape of graph that you see there. Now, when you use G solve and press the root, press G solve, press root, you will get the first answer. So X is minus 0 0.009 which you put as minus 0 0.900901. That will be the first answer. And if you press this D part forward, forward button on the D part, you'll get the next root there, the next one there, the next one there. So you get all the solutions to, the, to that equation. That's the way to use your calculator to check it. And when you press that forward arrow, you get this. You get the, the first root. It will move on to to the next one, to the next one, and that will be the last root. The x equals to one. And this is what you would use for the view window. You go from x to minus two, maximum two, scale one, y minimum minus eight, and maximum eight. So that's how you do question four. The method and the plan in for question four. First part of question four A. Second part of question four A. The last part of question four. And the graph to check your results.